Hey everybody, it's Angela here and I hope you're all doing well. I wanted to inform you, this is breaking news that came into CNN, I believe it was yesterday. And uh, I put out a video and I didn't, I wasn't too crazy about the source, but I wanted to bring you the actual news itself. Because I want you to know that this is really what's going on. The, the job numbers over between March 20 third and March 24 were under reported or over reported so uh, in reality there were 818,000 less jobs um, in that year as what was reported so they're cooking the books and manipulating the numbers so let's watch this CNN the CNN right now uh, the job growth has been far weaker in the U.S. than originally reported. That is according to new data just coming in this morning. Let's get right to CNN's Matt Egan. What's the headline, Matt? Jim, 818,000 fewer jobs were added uh, during the period between April 2023 and March of this year. We were bracing for these revisions to come out and show that job growth was weaker. And that is what we got. Um, this is probably on the high end of the expectations. Uh, some of the forecasters had been saying probably around a few hundred thousand jobs. Uh, Goldman Sachs had said maybe up to a million. So this is on the higher end. Uh, we're seeing some of the biggest revisions downward Bureau in sectors that statistics. include manufacturing, BLS. leisure and hospitality, professional and business services. Fewer. Of course, some sectors actually added more jobs than were previously known. Uh, private education, health services, transportation and warehousing. We look at the market, not a massive reaction uh, from the market. Uh, I think that's in part because this is somewhat backwards looking data. What investors really care about is what happens next. And these numbers out today, they do support the idea that the jobs market has been weaker than we previously thought and that it has been slowing no down. Uh, that makes sense because no we know the Fed deal. has been working hard to slow the economy down as it tries uh -huh. to fight inflation. So I do think that the fact that the economy had more than 800,000 fewer jobs than previously known oh, yeah. supports the idea that the Fed is going to start cutting interest rates next month. The question still remains whether or not it's a quarter of a point or a larger interest rate cut. But either way, it's going to lower mortgage yeah. rates, credit card rates, and car loan rates. Uh, I don't Jim? even bother. Yeah, Sorry. all of these data points are very important, and you have to think it's all being data taken points. into consideration uh, for that critical decision that's coming from the Fed. Matt Egan, thank you very much. Thanks. Really yeah, appreciate Matt it. Matt Egan, good job, Jim Acosta. And I wanted to send a hat tip to Mr. Tom Elliott for posting this video. And I have to go ahead and add that link to the description. You can also look at CNN. And I wanted to let you know that this is happening while the DNC is in full swing. Because, yes, they want to keep you distracted by something rather than knowing what the disasters are. Hey. The more informed you are, the more um, wiser you are as to the government uh, manipulating information and stuff. So uh, if I find any more um, the report or anything from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, I'm going to have to look that up. And I'll probably put it on my locals page, which is right here, angelasantanaconsultations.locals.com. And that'll be in the description. And of course, I do appreciate tips. Thank you so much. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.